Welcome to episode 6 of our tutorial series, Livewire 3 from scratch. My name is William Juma. In this episode, we will learn about form objects. Picture a scenario where we have many properties and in inputs in our form. This will result in having a bigger validation too. Form objects provide a way to declutter our Livewire live class. I will use the code that that we worked on in the previous tutorial video. We will create a form object and then work with it. So let us go ahead and work on it. As you can see, this was the initial form object that we were having. And we were able to look at the various methods in which we can be able to validate. That is what we did in our previous tutorial. I would like to do a cleanup. I'd like to do a cleanup of what we have here. And then we will have it like that. And then obviously I will also clean up this one, just sort of like uh, to make everything work as previously, as we had it previously. So in, in, in our first episode, we were using the rule attribute and once we have this rule attribute, what we were having here was um, validate. So inside our save function, we were just having this validate. Like that. And everything was able to work for us and we could be able to receive our validation errors like what we are having there. But sometimes you might find that you have a form with very many inputs. So you will have rules that maybe fill uh, two pages or something of that sort. It is now important for us to be able to use the form object. And I would like us to do an example of that and create a form object and be able to move some of the code that we have here into our object. The command for creating a form object is um, php artisan live wire full colon form and then the name of our form object. So this one I'm going to call it register form sort of like a name that goes almost close to what we have here. I press enter. Our um, form object has been created. So let us go and see where it is actually. So you can see inside app Livewire, we have another folder called forms. When I open it, we have a file called register form. And as you can see, we have it uh, in importing the attribute rule. And we also having it, we have it extending live wire form. So what we are going to do is just copy all the rules that we have here and together with their properties, exactly the way they are. So up until here, up until where we have the password. In fact, we will cut all of them and then we are going to paste them here. So once we paste them here, our form object is ready for us to use to do validation, but we will need to do some little bit of modification in our Livewire class. So basically, this is our Livewire class and it has two methods. Up here, we have to import our form. So in this case, we can say use app Livewire and then forms. And then of course we have it as a um, register form like that we will declare it as a property here so we are going to have a property public and we are going to have it as register form but we will set it as a just form like that after that, 
then we can be able to use it in our validation. Now, instead of saying this validate, we are going to say this form validate like that. One more thing we need to also ensure that inside our, um, our form, now in our form component in our register user.play.php, inside here, we ensure that now instead of having just wire model name, we have form form.name like that. And so I'm just going to copy that and paste for every other. So even for the validation errors, the same thing. And then wire model email, we will paste it there. Even for the error. And then lastly, we paste for the password. And also for the wire model password like that. So basically, that is what we have. In fact, this debounds and every other thing, maybe I will remove because now we will not be needing it. We needed it when we were explaining something specific. Now, as you can see, we have everything set up and we need to just check if our form um, object is working perfectly. But there is one thing that I have discovered, which I am going to just mention. It is sort of like a bug, but uh, I'm going to mention if you have an idea on how we can be able to go around it or maybe solve it, you can be able to mention. So inside here where we have form, there is this constraint where we are saying unique users. I want to remove it for now. I will return it. And then we will see that if we have it, we will have an error. So I would like to refresh our form again, just to capture the changes. When I attempt to submit again, you can see our errors are being displayed in a similar way. But as you can see inside our register class is no validation that we are doing here. So inside our register user in our live wire class, we don't have anything that is a uh, handling validation. So the validation must actually be that which is being done here. But I would like to return whatever it is that we had here. And I have seen while attempting to work with it. Now, when we have unique users, we actually have an error. So when I click submit, now what happens? It's attempting to check for also that unique field so let us see what we are going to get and because of that i actually need to ensure that i'm running zamp so before i even get my oh the zamp is already running that's okay so now actually it's saying email field is required now if i type in an email here juma at example.com now it you check our database for this email and that is where the error that I was getting is coming from. It says column not found and then it is checking for a column called form.email. It is something that I have seen and it is important for me to mention because I think we need to know also how we can be able to work with that. But without it, if I remove it, then our validation is okay. So we are having a problem with form request where we are having a unique constraint. But remember, we worked on these things in our previous tutorial episode and everything was working perfectly. We are also checking for the unique, uh, for the unique fields in our database. Thank you very much for following this tutorial episode up until this point. I ask that if you have not subscribed, that you may kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell. By doing this, you'll be notified when I upload another awesome video. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up and share. You are welcome to also engage in the comment section. Thank you very much.